Shadow Daggers Marble Fade Giveaway. If you guys want to enter this, all you have to do is make sure to click like or thumbs up on this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It'd be cool if you could turn on notifications as well and become a part of the notification squad. And also drop a comment down below in the comment section. Good luck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got another brand new CSGO update. And this is the craziest update in all of history. April 12, 2017. You guys got to mark this day down your calendars to tell your children about the day that they made the Negev $2,000 in matchmaking that's what this updates about there's a lot more stuff included i'm about to tell you guys everything all about it. if you would like to read about it you can go down in the description below and read along with me credit player credit to wicked player 494 excuse me for uploading this to reddit at least to keep us updated on csgo and tell us what the what the brand new update is i'm telling that i'm here to tell that with you guys and read along and tell you exactly what it is so bam let's start it let's go holy shit starting off with the csgo part it says they added holiday cheer which is pretty cool that's pretty fun i like that they added holiday cheer i like that they do that to the maps you know it's not like a ton but it's pretty fucking cool and you know we don't have no winter dust twos or anything like that but you know it's 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 some holiday cheer so it's all right as far as gameplay goes here here it goes here this is this is the banger Oh my gosh. For a limited time, the Negev and the R8 are available in, comp in competitive matchmaking. Okay, we know that. We, that was already, we, we know that they weren't available just for a while because they were tweaking them and they were messing with them. And you guys saw, I think, on the last update video, if you didn't, that's kind of weird. But if you, on the last update video where they actually changed how the Negev works and they completely took it out of matchmaking and then we went to casual and saw that it, it like sprays completely weird. We watched Cloud9 Shroud do it. I played that clip. That was really crazy. So as far as that goes, they've changed the Negev a lot. So it's not as good as it used to be. Don't think that they're just getting into that and then the, the Negev is now two thousand dollars because of that but as far as the r8 revolver if you guys are concerned you probably are because you want to know all about the update with the r8 revolver the price reduced it down to 700 bucks so that's really not that big of a change in my opinion i mean i think it will affect a few things a few first buy rounds maybe a decoy here and there i don't know what's going to be going on maybe some weird ecos i don't know it depends how the, the how, how, how much they really change the r8 revolver and how much people like it i don't know it's kind of weird to bring it up maybe like, like i don't know how often do you force armor by deagle like a lot a lot a lot quite a bit but still either way it's something pretty crazy that they did to the RA revolver but nothing in comparison to the negev like the negev is all almighty what the fuck you made the negev it's two thousand dollars in matchmaking you're competitive right now you can go and rank up off of this this is this is real gameplay this is real csgo two thousand dollar negev if, just for experimentation they're just trying it out it says to promote experimentation with the weapon so that's what it is so i guess it's just going to be weird troll troll games and matchmaking all the time i don't know are you guys going to get a bunch of easy w's are you guys going to get a bunch of easy fucking losses when you're trying to use an ak for some reason the dude sprays you down with a negative on their on a eco round or something like that like i don't know what's gonna be going on but tell me what you guys think about it down in the comment section below i i've been playing it. it's pretty crazy it's it's definitely kind of weird some people mess around with it some people treat it like it's not even there but a lot of the time you'll find some some guy messing around and doing something and fucking it up and, oh, it's 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 a mess right now either way but as far as audio goes as well in this update the volume now decays smoothly over distance instead of by discrete steps so that's okay that's a kind of cool they're just messing with the audio you know they've been doing that recently with the brand new updates they adjusted the HRTF audio mix to more closely match sound with without HRTF, which is kind of cool so for some people who don't have that enabled. It now sounds a little bit more closely like that. I don't know. Maybe that that might mess with some people actually, but I don't. Know. I think that might be a good thing. Next, they added S and D hurt distance behind default 100, which allows HRTF players more closely to match the perceived direction of a sound source as seen by the actual player player behind a, mon a monitor. I guess that's what is that's that's pretty crazy. Okay, they fixed a bug where music volume would be set to the maximum level while accepting a lobby invitation. Okay, that's that 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 sounds pretty fucking annoying. I didn't really experience that all the time, but I think I saw some people complaining about it on Reddit and that the max volume. That's pretty crazy, and then. As far as the servers go, they added support for official game servers in a country is which name I cannot pronounce, and then Shanghai for the Perfect World CS:GO beta, which sounds kind of cool. CS:GO beta, P Perfect World. That, 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 whoa, that's that's fucking insane. I want to know a little bit more about that. Yeah, you guys should do some research about that because I have no clue what that is, but it sounds crazy. If you guys are in Guangzhou or Shanghai, please tell me about Perfect World CS:GO beta. Holy fuck, that's like a whole other game. And then miscellaneous, they added team ID option always on with equipment to game settings. Spectators can now use overhead equipment to display and fixed overhead equipment display not updating in some cases as well as fixed orientation of stickers on dropped weapons adding game integration output for use of terminal organizers new output for player equipment value with the log level three showing the observer slot for each and adding a new phase red count or phase phase countdown feeds for timing the timing of end warm-up freeze time round ends so they're, they're just tweaking with a bunch of stuff within uh, the game state I guess and they're fixing the orientation of stickers on dropped weapons and things like that there's a lot of stuff going 
going out with drop with dropped weapons right now i think they might have to, to, to have to do another update where you can actually like pick up weapons like drop weapons through walls it's really weird it's, it was uh, upvoted really high on reddit earlier i saw today but either way that's enough hopefully you guys enjoy the video that's the brand new fucking crazy update tell me what you guys think about it down in the comment section below also make sure if you guys haven't or if you want to you can go down and subscribe and become a or maybe even no turn on notifications to become part of the uh, you know the notification squad i guess just uh, shout out to my boys shout out to the motherfucking notification squad you guys are fucking awesome and so cool of you so cool of you i reply to so many comments that say notification squad or if you want to be cool like this i'm gonna say you made it to the end of the video go down in the comment section below and comment the word steam just steam s-t-e-a-m like you know what we used to play csgo yeah steam comment it down in the comment section below and i'll make a big extra effort to reply to your comment i love you guys so much it's been your quad mft that's the brand new motherfucking update the history the history that it gave oh it's 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 this is where it ends boys this is where this is where csgo ends boys <laughs>